Without getting too uh, dramatic about it, it's like being reborn. It's like learning to live your life again from stage one. Uh, the simplest of tasks um, you have to think about um, might be getting up in the morning, might be um, you know, where you put your clothing. All the normal things in life have to be restructured and, and retrained, uh, whether it be using gadgets or equipment uh, to communicate, making a brew, making food, navigating around a room, strange rooms, objects, all these different things. They all need um, mentally adjusting to. My initial journey through sight loss, for sure, life-changing, uh, going down to the centre at Brighton and consequent training and then discovering sports and activities and hobbies. Um, I wanted to do the extraordinary things. Uh, I want to make a, a statement, I want to shout at the world, this is me and this is what I can do. The extraordinary things in life are the normal things. Living in a home independently, getting down to the shops, getting dressed, preparing a nice meal, living in harmony with your family, that is extraordinary when you're blind. I returned after two weeks back to my quartering tid within the car. Uh, I remember the day vividly. Uh, it was April uh, and my wife saw the car draw up outside our quarter in Tidworth. The kids are home from school and she looked out of the window and uh, she just knew something had changed. Uh, she saw the way I got out of the car myself. I just got out of the car in the manner that I'd normally done when I was okay and sighted. She just knew by the way I stood, the way I looked, the way I deported myself, that something miraculous had changed in me. I remember hearing my wife running down the path and giving me a massive hug, shouting, come on kids, they're giving us Billy back. <laughs>